Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to show you how to install BMW Vista P from scratch. So the first thing you really want to do is download Java for Windows. Go to java.com, download the latest version, click run, press yes, click install, click OK, wait for it to download. After that, just simply what we want to do is click, make sure that your Vista P, you've got your network frame 3.0, 3.5 and 1.1 installed. I go to my BMW folder, you can see here that you basically if you go to the BMW folder like I'm doing here, going tools, it's the P loader, you got six point one is for ENET and DCAM and six point four is for your ICOM only. So if you're using your ICOM it takes six point four but six point one is the best one for ENET and DCAM cables. Take that to your wave extracted your ISTP to. It should be the C drive usually. ISTP, copy and paste, the loader and the activation key inside. Uh, wait for your Java to install. As you can see now it's just taking a few more seconds to install. Just wait and install. There you go, it's installed now. Then just click close. The next thing you really want to be doing is installing the patch data BIOS. So you click in tools, the BMW folder, patch D to BIOS, click next, next. Make sure it's to the C drive always. Press yes. Wait for that to install. Press finish. It's perfect there. Basically, now what I do is make a copy of the ED BIOS configure. Copy. Go into my computer, the C drive. Either BIOS, bin, copy and paste, so I paste that into there, delete the original shortcut on the desktop, then make a new shortcut to the desktop, right there, yep, perfect. Now what you want to do is back into the BMW folder, click into tools, and what you want to do is load the network tool, double click it, press yes. going to take about two two to three minutes is this process for it to, ins to install. It's going to ask you to reboot after. Don't worry about that, you don't have to reboot. Just press OK and ignore the message. Okay, as you can see guys, you just, you just want to press OK now. So yeah, on to the next stage basically what we want to do next is now make sure that the system P is loaded. So we double click on it, press yes. It's going to ask you for an activation key. Remember this activation key is where you extracted it to. So it's usually into your C drive and then you'll have the activation key in the BMW folder. Copy, paste it in, continue. The launch is going to like flash up at the bottom, as you can see. Then it's going to come up with closing, uh, sorry, shutting down. That's no problem. That's perfectly intended. That's what I want to see. So now what you want to do again, just double click on the launcher, load it up, press yes. Click manual search. Again, go to where you extract it to. It could be a D drive, it could be your C drive click the ISTP folder and press OK. Make sure you set your language, there's about 20 languages. The most important thing here is selecting that expert mode right here. Tick that. Make sure that is ticked. Then click save. Let's continue. Autofill. Save. Okay, brilliant. That, so, so far so good. You're at the, the part where we're ready to configure the network device now. So what I'm doing basically is I'm just looking for the correct IP. Going to load up how to connect here to just confirm the IP is correct. So basically what you want to do now is you go into your bottom corner where it shows your wireless or your ENET. You must have a wireless connection to be on the internet obviously because you will be plugging in your cable into the ethernet port just remember that. 
so you won't always have internet but it's not needed anyway so I click open internet scroll to near the bottom click network sharing center click change adapter settings locate your ethernet where you've plugged in your ethernet cable your BMW coding cable click properties double click on the TCP IPv4 then you want to click use the following IP address type in 169.254.1.1 then basically what you want to do is click in the box underneath so it says 255.255.0 dot zero and that's it the cable is now configured to be used with Reagan hold ISTA plus and ISTA P so now what we want to do is click out of that click out of this click out of that we want to make sure we're using the easy bias configure now double click on it make sure it says a C at the top there in the drop down list in the configuration interface click the bottom E net setting so it says 6801 6801 then press OK 3-4 to four times keep pressing OK and you'll notice it says E net auto detect 6801 and 6811 that's brilliant that's exactly what you want press OK again press exit now we're just going to go back here into my computer the C and then either bias bin click on the either bias dot inf config just to make sure it says enet there and remote that's perfect click out click out of this again I'll start to connect the, to the BMW yep click on the adapter that you've got in this right hand side corner you're going to see your car's IP address when the battery of your car is on it will show the IP address and you type it into this box for, for example I'm just going to put 0000, 000 but you would put the number that's shown in that left hand side box like 192.168.1.1 etc it differs for every single car this is where you need to make sure that your firewall is definitely turned off you should not have your firewall on so make sure you type firewall into your search bar click check firewall status click turn windows defender on or off click turn off turn off press ok look you can see the networks are now off it's going to give you a warning and all that now you can simply start the BMW car application it's the P uh, now it's going to be about a five ten minute wait so I'll be back once it starts to show you exactly how to configure it. While this is loading, I'm going to load up ISTA Plus and I'm going to show you the setting that you need to use in order to connect an F series car via Ethernet cable in the configuration settings. So I'll be back in about five guys. Cheers.
Okay guys, Easter just started to load now, but basically it's going to be cut out by the Easter P loader, so I'm just going to allow Easter P to load and I'm going to show you exactly how to configure it, but just to start off, if you double click on the top bar of Easter Plus, you'll notice that the program gets bigger. I double click, click on this banner in the right hand corner. Yeah, and then click in basically, you want to click in your vehicle interface. You want to click the fourth one down, it's going to be dealer, organization, icon, local, IC network, but don't, don't worry about that, it's going to always be set to that as default. If you're using your DCAN cable, use the top one, either BIOS, but FC is an icon, always use the local ENET, dealer, organization, that's what you need to do, then press OK click operations, read out vehicle data, make sure your battery is on, click identification test, that's it. Reagan all's ready now, it's the plus is ready. It's the P, simply just create a new session, make sure it selects automatically, press continue. Now when this loads you're basically going to see here now is the IP address 000, this would be like I said your car's IP address that would be fine and then basically all you've got to do from here is press connect and it should connect to your car with no issues or problems uh, at this stage so that's it for now guys really um, just to refresh on a, a few points I'm going to go over it just to show you the, the most important things you've got to remember is network frame and Java need to be installed you must make sure that you click into the organization icon in your local Ethernet settings you just want to make sure that you can change your connection properties in the network center you need to make sure your adapter settings are set to the there's a certain IP here in the IP4V you need to configure it, sorry not configure, you need to double click on it and make sure that IP is set right here. If that is set, you, you're really good to go. Your adapter's all good. Your car's on, your battery charger's on. You can start.